decided to make me a, a 72 a 2x72 sanding uh, grinder this uh, this is what I've been using made about uh, 20 knives on it it's been good to learn with I think I'm done learning with it needed to do something that I can go a little bit faster with so I've got this uh, design going bought it from USA knife it's the no weld uh, sander but I happen to have a MIG welder and don't feel like drilling so it's gonna be a welded sander it's not a bad design I picked up the steel for it for the frame it was uh, $35 for the steel guy probably if he had a chance to go in there and pick through the scrap rack could just about pick up all the pieces that you need to make the parts there really isn't a lot uh, of metal involved in it <clears throat> the plans were decent I'll give a better review on those later I gonna I know it sounds wacky I'm gonna put a five horsepower motor on it because that's what I happen to have sitting around and that's one of the things that made me uh, decide to go ahead and build it because the metal was cheap and uh, I had a motor already so I'll keep you posted on how it goes that's the tensioning arm I'm gonna put a tracking wheel in this area tensioning spring down there I went ahead and cut out also with my plasma cutter I cut out a three-in-one swivel arm I think it's gonna go in the tool holder let's go over here uh, one of the tool holders will slip in there there we go we'll slip in there and then this will go on somewhere like that in this position you'll have a flat platen presented you can tilt it out and get a uh, small wheel two three inch wheel or you can tilt it out on the bottom and it will present the uh, eight or ten inch wheel depending on and you put those in depending on which spot or which wheel, which uh, wheel you pick depends which of those holes you use so you just rotate that around to present the uh, grinding surface that you need to be using either a platen small wheel or a larger wheel without having to take everything apart 